The UFC is the number one league for mixed martial arts in the world. The UFC is home to the best fighters, the highest profile bouts, and the UFC has hosted many of the best MMA fights of all time. Today, we're looking at some of the best fights in MMA history as we count down the top 10 fights in the UFC. Number 10, John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson. John Jones took on Alexander Gustafsson for his sixth UFC light heavyweight title defense. Promoters marketed the fight on how tall both fighters are for their division, seemingly unable to come up with an interesting angle to market the fight. Little did they know this was about to be one of the best fights in UFC history. John went into the fight a staggering 9-1 to favorite. Early in the first round, Gustafsson cut Jones and took him down, the first successful takedown in 16 attempts by various opponents. Jones rallied for the second round, but Gustafsson never backed down. Jones's face was taking a beating by the fifth round but he kept up the aggression to turn it around and win by unanimous decision. The bout showcased extreme toughness from both fighters and for the first time, cracks in Jones's seemingly invincible armor began to show. Number 9. Conor McGregor vs. Nate Diaz 1. This bout at UFC 196 was slated to be a champ versus champ fight with McGregor taking on Rafael Dos Anjos. However, Rafael had to pull out on short notice due to an injury, and Diaz stepped up to take his place. Near the end of the second round, McGregor got a solid exchange, but then Diaz landed a solid strike on McGregor to shift the balance of the fight. The fight went to the ground, and Diaz shocked the audience with a submission of the Irish legend in the center of the octagon. Number 8. Dan Henderson vs. Mauricio Rua Both Henderson and Rua were known for intense heart and hard striking, and when they met up, they did not disappoint. The two immediately began trading blows, while Rua came up short with a bloodied face. Henderson kept up the pace for three rounds, hunting for the KO, and he almost got it in the third round when he dropped Rua with a heavy right hand, but Rua stayed defensive and managed to weather the storm of ground and pound. At the start of the fourth, it was clear Henderson had used up his energy, and Rua began pushing the pace for the last two rounds. Despite Rua landing some shots, Henderson never faltered. Henderson won the bout, but he didn't exactly walk away with the win, as both fighters ended up in the hospital after the fight. This UFC 139 fight was so electric, Dana White immediately declared it one of the best in the promotion's history. Number 7. George St. Pierre vs. BJ Penn won Back in the days of UFC 58, both fighters were hailed as contenders in the welterweight division with Penn above St. Pierre in the rankings. And Penn looked to prove the bookies right by breaking St. Pierre's nose and cutting him at the same time in the very first round. However, George kept his head in the game and switched his plan, taking the fight to the ground and absolutely dominating Penn on the mat. Penn was also known for his ground game, but he simply couldn't control the fight from the guard, allowing St. Pierre to pass and control from the top. The third round saw St. Pierre continue his successful formula to win by split decision. Number 6. Daniel Cormier vs. John Jones 2 UFC 214 treated fans to the rematch between two of the sport's best. In their first fight, Jones scored the unanimous decision victory over the multi-division champ Cormier. It was especially hard for Cormier since this was his first career loss, but after the bout, Jones was stripped of his title to hand the belt back to Cormier. This second matchup would prove to the world who was truly the light heavyweight champ. The grudge match started with two close rounds, with Cormier as the aggressor while Jones landed strikes to the body. And in the third round, Jones then landed a high kick that rocked Cormier and eventually led to the end of the fight. Cormier's heartbroken display and Jones's sheer domination of the lightweight division make this one of the best fights, even with the Jones controversy leading up to and after the fight. Number 5. Matt Hughes vs. Frank Trigg 2 Just a few months before our number 7 spot, Hughes took on Trigg for a second time at UFC 52. While the Jones and Cormier rivalry was intense, the bad blood between Hughes and Trigg was one of the UFC's first high-profile beefs. In their first fight, Hughes retained his welterweight belt with a submission win via rear naked choke. Sparks flew even before the fight, and as the first round commenced, the two quickly began grappling along the cage. In the clinch, Trigg landed an accidental knee to the groin of Hughes, 
Despite the ref seeing the blow and warning Trigg, the fight kept going, even though Hughes was clearly hurt. Trigg capitalized on the weakened Hughes and took him to the ground to try and win. Hughes managed to survive and even fended off a choke attempt. Then one of the most iconic moments in UFC history went down, with Hughes picking up Trigg, walking him, and then slamming him into the mat. Hughes took the mount and began dropping hard elbows, forcing Trigg to roll, where Hughes took the opportunity and landed another rear naked choke. All that action took place just in the first round. It was definitely one of the craziest rounds and fights in the history of the USC. Number 4. Chuck Liddell vs. Vondele Silva these two sluggers clashed in UFC 79. Both were considered the top strikers in the light heavyweight division at their time, so this fight was already slated for the history books before they even entered the ring. And the fighters did not disappoint with all three rounds filled with strikes and exchanges. Near the end of the clock, Liddell connected with a spinning back fist that put Silva on his back to put a great end to a crazy fight. Liddell walked away with the fight of the night, and both fighters earned their spot in the sport's history. Number 3. Anderson Silva vs. Kale Sonnen The American gangster created a real hype train leading up to his fight with the would-be GOAT in Anderson Silva. At the time, Silva was seemingly untouchable with his laser-guided strikes, making quick work of every opponent in his path. But Sonnen was a different beast. Everyone was shocked to see Sonnen power straight through Silva for almost a full five rounds. By the fifth, it was clear Sonnen was headed for a decision win unless he could clutch it out in the final round. But Silva showed the world why he was the champ. In the final seconds of the final round, Silva secured a legendary armbar to win via submission and keep his belt and cement his place with one of the best comebacks anyone's ever seen. Number 2. Robbie Lawler vs. Rory McDonald 2 A storm was brewing back in 2015 at UFC 189 when Lawler sought his first welterweight title defense versus McDonald. Their first fight ended in a split decision, leaving fans calling for a rematch. The first round started off even, but Lawler began to connect at the end of the round to bloody the face of McDonald with vicious strikes. McDonald pushed through the pain of his damaged nose and turned up the pressure of his own. Lawler regained control at the start of the third round with better movement, and he landed more nasty shots. But by the end of the round, he began to lose his head as McDonald hurt Lawler with a head kick, followed by strikes against the cage. The fourth round was just as even, with both fighters having their moments to shine. By the end of the round, both fighters stared each other down through bloodied eyes. It was a toss-up who would take it in the fifth, but the relentless assaults started to add up and Lawler struck McDonald so hard it crushed his nose and dropped him to the mat, and Lawler got the W. Number 1. Stefan Bonner vs. Forrest Griffin 1 The success of the long-standing series The Ultimate Fighter is completely thanks to this first finale between Bonner and Griffin. Not only did this cement the TV series, it also catapulted the UFC into the mainstream thanks to the absolutely spectacular display of heart and talent from both fighters. The most important fight in UFC history was also one of the best with both fighters showcasing pretty much every technique the sport has to offer. While McDonald and Lawler was a back-and-forth brawl from start to finish, it still doesn't outshine the sheer grid both Bonner and Griffin brought to the octagon in their first fight. Both fighters landed haymakers, pressed the action, got rocked, and kept on coming. By the final round, both fighters were completely gassed, but they didn't let up. Both fighters were bloodied by the final round, with Forrest smiling as the two traded blows. The defeated Bonner collapsed but still showed showmanship, and in the end, both fighters walked away with a contract in the UFC. That's it for our list of the top 10 fights in UFC history. Did your favorite fight make it onto our list? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the vid, be sure to uppercut that like button and subscribe.